to tarmac today i'm on the uh, the infamous autobahn in germany and i'm in a mini but not just any old mini i'm in the mini editions what they've done is they've upped their styling game and they've now got three different styles which is basically the resolute which is the one i'm in there is the untold and also the untamed so they all fit into their own little categories like the untamed is to do with the uh, countryman you've got the clubman which has got the untold and with the cooper s in the two door four door or five door and the uh, convertible and also the ev or electric mini is this resolute now what they've done as far as the styling goes they've added different uh, different trim sections to it so there's brass components there's some of the chrome is gone the coloring's different there's different stripes there's different uh, the, the, the segment things on the side I think they call them scuttles they now have uh, some of the names imprinted onto them so really you they're, they're about making just more of a more of a stand as to what type of vehicle suits you the Resolute's all about the fact of self-confidence and and self-awareness and just being a little bit more bolshy and uh, this one is the trim trim is very much both inside and out is is just a little bit more flamboyant a little bit more in your face and then when you get to the untamed which we'll be going into later it's all about the the mountains there's sort of there's there's stuff on the back of the seats that's to do with mountains there's some of the some of the side uh, decal decals is about mountains and being the great outdoors and I don't know being out there being more adventurous and then the clubman with the back doors it's really about the untold and I don't know really what untold means but I'm sure I'll get to that <laughs> but in the meantime we're actually not far away from the Nuremberg Ring. We're in on the uh, the Autobahn, and it's time to put your foot down. <laughs> okay, so on to somewhere a little bit quieter, and by that I mean slower. Firstly, you resolute. And in this three-door Cooper S hatch, it really exemplifies exactly what the designers are talking about. Many are saying that Resolute emphasizes the individuality, traditional style, self-confidence and unmistakable charisma of the original Mini. And they're probably quite right, especially in this three-door <laughs> Cooper S. It's great. It's got rebel green paintwork, which normally comes as a JCW exclusive, which contrasts really well with the pepper white roof and mirror caps. But when you're behind the wheel, all you can see are these asymmetrical parallel bonnet lines or bonnet stripes, which are basically an enlightened gold colouring to match with the resolute bronze, which are in areas such as the side scuttles, door handles, and on the headlight, rear light and grille surrounds. This reglammed exterior is also accented in piano black in places such as the mini logos, the radiator grill, the tailpipes, and in turn that matches the sporty 18 inch alloy wheels in pulse spoke black design. Step inside and the interior's hatch is an experience all by itself, with the sports seats bathed in a, a light yellow sort of gold checkered fabric colour. It's, it's great. And the dash features parallel and evenly curved pinstripe lines in a light shade of gold just to match the bonnet stripes. It's all very tactile too, the, the seats and everything just, I don't know, it's almost like a 3D sort of stuff. To emphasize the feeling of driving something special, Mini has added things like a, a laser engraved ring for the instrument cluster, which has got the latest generation operating system and a special cabin lighting system for, for basically for driving at night, unfortunately driving during the day. And the leather steering wheel bears the, uh, well, the Resolute emblem just on the lower spoke, just in case you forgot what you were driving. Behind it all, the Cooper S doesn't really have anything technical or performance added to it, but it just feels different when you're driving. And also the fact that I'm on the wrong side of the road, the wrong side of the car and driving a manual just adds to that sort of mini thrilling experience. So onto the Untamed and basically the Mini Countryman. 
Untamed is about being ready for all the adventures that lie beyond the city limits. And there's plenty to see here in Germany. The model I've got here is an all four all wheel drive Cooper S plug-in hybrid. So basically I can be guilt free with emissions, which is awesome. The untamed exterior design is specifically tailored for those that love the great outdoors with this exclusive momentum gray metallic paintwork and contrast black protective guards, roof and trim. The reflector and lower inserts are painted in momentum gray too, while the plug-in cap and decals including the four diagonal stripes on the side come in frozen blue stone. It all rests on handsome 18 inch alloy wheels in an untamed two-tone design with burnished surfaces. Unfortunately the bonnet is unstriped so therefore there's not much to catch your attention looking through the windscreen. But should you crane your neck backwards you'll find untamed written on the rear side windows but I recommend doing that while driving. Nature inspired shades of green and blue dominate the interior with an exclusive highland green furniture contrasting with the blue and green stitching. But for me by way the coolest interior feature is the illuminated frozen bluestone dash that comes with a printed landscape pattern. It's the first time that a large scale graphic has served as a motif on the dashboard and apparently the untamed lettering is visible at night. Again, I'm only driving during the day. There are a number of untamed monikers dotted around the cabin on the seats and stuff like that. But really, you just cast your eye down to the bottom of the Napa Sports Leather steering wheel and there you find it there too. Having just jumped out of the three door hatch, the silent startup of the EV was a little bit disconcerting, but it, the Countryman itself feels really rapid when it's on the move. The sports seating seemed to offer a little bit more comfort than the, than the hatch and also I guess the suspension's a little bit more forgiving but it's still pretty mini taut. I'm loving looking at this German countryside but really the big eye catcher for me is, the, is that mountain range dash. Last but by no means least the untold edition which means the Clubman. Untold is basically a sporty understatement and as far as I can see the designers have taken that to heart. This Clubman was the JCW type so basically with a range topping 225 kilowatt engine but if that wasn't enough just to grab my attention the, the paintwork is a sage green which is a first for the Clubman and also the surrounds on the lower body sections have a dark shade of green too. The untold side scuttles have been manufactured using a high quality 3D printing process and albeit subtle have a specific stripe pattern which is similar to the five narrow parallel sport stripes that run centrally across the bonnet. But for me the striking feature on the untold is the use of the refined brass hues around the nose, the 18 inch feet. It's just excellent, it really does grab your attention. The sage green colour scheme continues onto the inside, onto all the furniture here, but so too does the brass, with the vent surrounds really drawing your eye, but thankfully not enough to distract me from driving this awesome JCW. Untold, untamed and resolute, three unique design statements for three unique mini offerings. The JCW Clubman is my favourite pick of the trio though and I'm going to basically be driving this one on the Autobahn back to the hotel. For me it's basically the perfect size of space, plenty of power underfoot <laughs> and in terms of design understated and yet brassy, just like me. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.